is up guys welcome back to my channel today I have brand new products it's been a few videos since I've done anything brand new and I'm pretty friggin excited we are going into the world of Wayne Goss specifically Wayne Goss's new weightless veil blush palettes now these puppies come in four different shades I only got two mostly just because I am filled to the brim with makeup already but I definitely couldn't pass up anything Wayne I reviewed everything that he's put out makeup wise so far and I was so jazzed when I saw that he put these out. So today we are going to go through the blush palettes and I'm going to try them on for the first time on camera, do some up close so you guys can see swatches of the two different shades that I got so you guys can see as well. So let's just get into it. Let's go. So currently I have all my base makeup on and then I went ahead and used the Luxury Eye Palette Collection because it truly is my favorite. It has created such a beautiful, natural look. It's very easy, it's very effortless to use. The colors are so wearable for every day, much like everything else in his collection. And then I went ahead and added in a little bit of mascara, two different kinds as always. And I will link everything that I actually have on my face down below. And now I am ready to try the new blush. So the palettes are very similar to the rest of the collection, same type of colored packaging, and they are actually pretty substantial in size. Like this is a fairly large palette. Um, this is actually almost the exact same size as the eyeshadow palette, but it's just the blush and highlight. So that's a lot of product. So I went through and just swatched these very slightly. Mind you, I have not tried any of these on my face. So this is Vivid Azalea. Um, when I saw the whole collection come out, my eye was instantly drawn to this. Like this shade of purple is not something I'm typically drawn to. But it's so pretty and he used all of these on the models so wonderfully and he did up close of the skin so you actually saw real pores and real lines and you can actually get a good representation of what it might look like across your real skin and my real skin. Uh, this one happens to come with a really gorgeous, gorgeous highlight as well. It's a really nice, like very pale uh, champagne sort of color, which is typically one of my most favorite shades of highlight. So the second shade I had such a hard time deciding because I was going back and forth between this one and another one, but I ultimately decided on this palette right here, which is the Oral Rose palette. Um, very light, fair. I just felt like this would be so lovely uh, come winter time. That pink shade just looks like a beautiful, like pinched cheek sort of look. And again, the highlight. This one is a little bit more of a golder champagne than the Azalea one, but I would wear both of these highlights equally as well. So each of the palettes comes with a matte blush and then the highlights. You can wear each of them alone or you can combine them together. So I'm going to show each of these palettes used in the three different ways. The blush standing alone by itself as a matte finish, the blush on top of the highlight and then the highlight on top of the blush. So I'm actually gonna try all three across my cheeks to get a good reference point. And then I will also do swatches as well so you guys can see kind of more up close what that looks like. Let me read to you exactly what is descriptive about this product. So it says, why is it special? Well, it's a smooth glide on powder formula that creates a feather light veil on top of the skin that blurs the look of pores, fine lines and texture. So Wayne Goss himself actually said this does not emphasize any texture, which I stinking love. I don't feel like there's enough highlight out there that doesn't do that. It's really essential. It says it has micro fine pigments that blend and build up effortlessly, effortlessly for streak free color that lasts all day. Um, it talks about how you can layer the blush in different ways and it fits into a wide variety of skin tones. With that in mind, I'm gonna look like a crazy Frankenstein person right now. It's pronounced Frankenstein. Well, why isn't it Frodrick Frankenstein? It isn't, it's Frederick Frankenstein. Why don't you go where fashion sits? <laughs> Perfect fits. 
but I'm gonna do one side with the coral rose and then one side with the azalea just so you guys can kind of see more of a reference point so I know you guys don't want to hear me talk anymore and everybody is waiting for me to shut up then do you know what the klutz did no and mm. I don't care so let's go in with the coral rose palette first so I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the blush first and do a really nice little flush here. Okay, I turned the lights down a little bit so you guys could get a better reference point. So this gave a really nice, just pretty sheer wash of color. I do have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter on underneath. So if you're seeing kind of a glow, that's the lights reflecting off my face. I don't have the highlight on at all right now. Um, and this is just very lovely. It's super sheer, which is, in my opinion, what you really, really want when it comes to like blush and bronzer. You want something that goes in really sheer and that you can build instead of going in with so much pigment all at once and then trying to fix that. So now I'm gonna go in with the highlight shade, which is blushing, and we're just gonna go over it. Ooh, that is very, very lovely. I mean, if you're doing this combo like this, it doesn't even really look like you need to go in with a highlight. And now we're gonna go in with this stunning baby. This is the one I am so, so excited about. I love anything that's so unique and different. This one is very unique and different. I absolutely love this. I cannot wait. Let's try it out. So I'm gonna go in with just a smallest bit of highlight here. We'll go across the cheek. Oh that is lovely <gasps> I kind of just want to do this whole thing all over again and just do highlight now very subtle but with a little bit of like gold fleck in there oh okay so now we're gonna try the blush layered on top of the highlights <gasps> okay that is stunning absolutely beautiful that is like the perfect formula i actually prefer this to this because it's this is a lot more of a highlight happening whereas this is a little bit more like of a subtle lit within glow um, and i really like the color of this it's very very beautiful bright alive okay this is with the lights down a little bit as well so you can kind of get a better representation it's a very lovely flush so to finish the whole wing goss look out now that i've used the eye and the cheek collection i'm going to go in with the essential lip pencil in the shade mauve now i'm going to go in with the lipstick in orchid the high shine gloss in petunia and there we have it almost a full face of all of the Wayne Goss's new products. I am so excited about the blushes. I really, really, really love them. I think all of his products work together so beautifully and so seamlessly. They feel so high end, so luxurious. They're just very effortless products for the everyday modern woman of all ages but specifically for people who are even my age and older who are getting lines and crow's feet and have real skin that's what he's making these products for and that's why i am ride or die for any of his products i cannot wait for him to come out with eyebrow foundation oh, bronzer i mean you name it i am so excited and i'm here for anything he puts out i am so excited to keep working with them and playing with them i'm absolutely positive that you will see me wearing them in a lot of videos coming up all right that's all i got for you guys today thank you so much for watching definitely don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave i would super appreciate that and hit the notification bell so you can be reminded the next time i upload a new product video I have another one coming up real, real soon. Hit the like button if you like Wayne Goss. Especially if you're watching this channel, you better click the like button.
definitely go follow me over on like to know and Instagram. I will link all of that stuff down below and for sure head over to the community tab on my page. I absolutely stink and love hearing your guys' thoughts and opinions on some of the crazy polls that I put out. I love, love, love to hear from you guys. Definitely leave me a comment down below and I can't wait to chat with you guys all and let me know what you think about Wayne Goss's new blush. Thank you so much for sticking around and hopefully I will see you in my next video. There Bye. is a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by